you ready for Time in the Word? Time in the Word. by Rejoice in Jesus Ministries, an on-fire bible Center teaching ministry based in Los Angeles, California, with outreach throughout the United States, stretching from coast to coast. Join us now as Pastor Chester C. Pippen Jr. brings us an exciting, anointed message. us to understand the power he's getting ready to give us because we're going to be in real sense his children and he wants us to be aware of what he's about to give us God Jesus came and paid the price for every sickness and every disease that's on the earth and he gave us the ability to overcome it, to receive the healing of it, and to, and to demand that it leave our bodies. That was then what he did, but he still is alive today. We still are supposed to, as we continue to study and put it in our hearts, and it becomes a part of our thinking when we get sick or things come at us and that we're supposed to be able to overcome it because of the power of the word inside of us. And it was God's original way of healing us with his word. He spoke his word and it healed us. And Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. Have faith in God. For verily I say unto you, that whosoever shall say unto this mountain, Be thou removed, yes. and be thou cast into the sea, yes. and shall not doubt in his heart, and shall not doubt in his heart, but shall believe that those things which he saith shall come to pass. And those things that he said, he believes that what he, he, you and I, say shall come to pass. Right. He shall have whatsoever he saith. <laughs> Go ahead, 24. Therefore I say unto you, what things soever ye desire, when ye pray, believe that ye receive them, and sh ye shall have them. How, <laughs> how much of this are you guys practicing? <laughs> He's saying that you in sickness or anything like that attacks your body, you should speak to it and say in the name of Jesus, leave my body and expect it to start coming, dissipating inside of you. And just because you said it doesn't mean it's gonna happen instantly. But as you make it a way of life and continue to speak it in faith, it's going to start having its effect inside your body. And I guarantee you in a matter of time, it will happen. <clears throat> now, there's been a lot of major sicknesses lately. lately. And 
we've had a lot of situations, I'd say at least five or six, that have called from one of the other outreaches. You know, we have 17 operations in 13 cities and seven states. And so I've had different ones call at different times. And I'm, I'm not kidding you. The power of healing has been so strong. There's even been one girl who had her, her father who was supposed to die within the next few days or within the week. And she asked me, would I please pray over him? I said, okay. I said, he's not in the body, but I'm still gonna pray over him. She said, okay, pray over him. He got healed the next day. Wow. The next day. And he's just having a good time right now. <laughs> he was supposed to die in a very short time, but the Lord is really moving. We've had several, what's the name, uh, who, uh, he's not here tonight, but you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Uh, Okay, and he had, I think, cancer, and it were like uh, maybe 13 or 14 nodules inside of him that, huh, that were all ready to uh, have their effect. And just before he had, he, he uh, was to get operated on, he called me and he said, I am not having no operation without my pastor praying over me. So I said, okay. He got healed every one of them the next three, three days. And we've really had several circumstances like that lately. And uh, it's not that, it, you know, we've had prayer before, but uh, it's like the anointing has increased or something. And he said that he's getting us ready for what's just about to happen. And the rapture, he says, closer than you think. I've told you guys he said that. And he means it. And so he said he was just preparing us. And the Lord <clears throat> is doing this with not just us and rejoice. He's, I'm hearing different, different ministries across the nation that the anointing is coming on them extra strong and then they're getting healings like bam bam you know and he's letting people know I'm here I'm alive and well and and a lot of times people they they hear of it they read it they know it they heard it preached but they're a lot of times people aren't still believing. Okay. Yeah. But I just want to say, yeah. Jesus is alive and well, Amen. and so yeah. is his healing. Amen. Hmm. And he's given us the power to speak it into existence. You know, I had <clears throat> had my eyes, you know, the cataracts. 
actually these glasses are getting in the way. <laughs> I really probably shouldn't even have them on. But there are a few, I'm trying to read my writing. <laughs> and so, uh, anyway, you know, these new hospitals, they're not really hospitals. Um, they're like uh, operation centers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you got on one side, you know, you may have four or five uh, I guess places where they have a whole operation going on and same with the one next to it and the one next to it and then on this side you have the same thing boom, boom, boom and this is the modern thing now they, they have everything that you would have in the hospital in some sense, even more. So anyway, I was there to get my, in my case, in the, the eyes done. Usually they start early in the morning, like 6.30 and uh, 7. But for whatever reason, uh, my doctor got me scheduled at 8.30. So when I got to the hospital, I had a high blood pressure. It was over 200. And the systolis and the diastolis, which is the bottom number, uh, was, was a little high too. And so, <clears throat> Because most of the doctors started early in the morning, they were kind of just sitting around and talking to each other. And so when the nurses there were asking questions about what they should do with this guy, he's got his blood pressure is over 200. And so one by one, they all came down to my booth and then they, they, they gave me a full operation. They said, obviously, you can't get operated on with this, with your blood pressure that high. So we're going to check you out. They didn't have nothing else to do. So they just started checking me out. And I, I asked them, what, what did they discovered? They said, we're giving you a full new medical exam. And we're going to find out what's going on with you and why you you're doing it. So just be glad you're getting a free medical exam. <laughs> it was funny. So <clears throat> it took them about an hour and a half and they finally got, got me uh, straight and they got my blood pressure down enough. So here, when then my doctor comes along and he, he is sitting there looking because he, he said, I can't even do nothing because they're taking over. And so after it got down to the place where he was okay, I mean, they felt it was okay, then they gave me a, I mean, my doctor took over. <clears throat> but the point I, I was trying to say how God is always on, on the move and he's ready to use you at any given time. Yeah. And there were, two or three of the doctors, they said, uh, how old do you say you are? And I, I didn't even get the answer because one of the nurses had a, you know, your tray, your file, and she, she told him, and he, he said, what? You don't even look like you're much over 30. I said, you're right, I'm 39. <laughs> <laughs> and he kind of laughed. <laughs> But you know what? Because of that, they wanted to know about Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. They asked me, how come, how do you keep, have a youthful look all the time? And they said, I said, well, I'm a pastor. And you know, the Lord takes care of me and so, so. 
And then he said, uh, well, we, I'd like to know more about this. He said, I'm looking at you, son. I, it's not nobody telling me nothing. I'm looking at it. And so the Lord actually started reaching people. I, the last thing I was thinking about was going to happen. But all these doctors and nurses, too, because they were all listening what the one would say. I say the one, the others would be listening. <laughs> I'm just saying, the Lord is always on the lookout. You never know when he's ready to use you. You need to have your heart ripe and ready. And be ready to do whatever it is he's calling you to walk in. Because God is ready for the final day of events that are getting ready to take place. So... Uh, be prepared and <clears throat> make a confession over the things that the Lord has for you. For example, the blood pressure should be like 188. Excuse me, 120 over, over 80. 80, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and uh, really, it can be high or low where they're out of whack, but he wants it to be in what I just said for high blood pressure. So uh, it can be high or low, but you need to start confessing that your blood pressure is normal. Yeah. 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 Whatever is happening to you, start speaking it to your body. Because God, the same way he, he said, you're gonna get healed after, made after this kind, Though he sin came in because of Adam and all that, <clears throat> but that part of his of his creation is still very much alive. We still have the ability to speak, especially the things that Jesus has come and never uh, agreed with certain things. The healing we can speak it to ourselves, And we need to start making it a way of life and we need to start doing it constantly. Even if it's something lightweight, start feeding it in your spirit and expecting it to happen. Because he wants not only you to speak to yourself and get your own healing, but the day is coming not very far, he's gonna expect you start laying hands on people and they get healed, manifested, bam. And so don't look at yourself as, oh, I don't know if I can do this. I don't know if I'm just, you know, nobody. No, you are somebody. You're children of the living God. And he's getting ready to start manifesting himself through us all as we get close to the uh, tribulation period he's going to start doing many miraculous things Amen. so uh, is, is that good is that exciting <laughs> now uh, Look at Luke 17. Verse 6. And the Lord said, If ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed, ye might say unto this sycamine tree, 
Be thou plucked up by the root, and be thou planted in the sea, and it should obey you. Mm-hmm. So we'll do that again. And the Lord said, if ye had faith as a grain of mustard seed. If ye have faith as just a little grain of mustard seed. Ye might say unto the sycamine tree. It ain't about trees. It's really about whatever you might say to it. Be thou plucked up by the root. And you know the bad part? Be plucked up away from her, him or her. In the name of Jesus, come out of it. And, and be thou planted in the sea, yeah. and it should obey you. <laughs> Is that good? Yeah. <laughs> He's trying to get everybody ready. And <clears throat> this isn't the sermon I plan to give you. <laughs> but uh, I don't know, he, he suddenly started as he does often, changing up everything. And he's trying to get us prepared and ready because he wants us to be able, ready to do whatever he's getting ready to call us to do. And we're going to do it just before the rapture. And as I've said before, and he said this to me at least four or five times. <clears throat> he said, the rapture is closer than you think. Now, I think it's fairly close. So I don't know what he calls quick, no, more quicker or closer than, than that. But whatever that is, he said, that's when we're going to come into our glory. And when we get ready for that, God's going to start manifesting different things in our life. All of a sudden, we're going to be able to, to do a lot of things suddenly and important things, things that you weren't even thinking about probably. I just know that there's getting ready to be some things that you can't even imagine. And so, just start expecting the anointing of God to start falling upon you. Because there's things he wants to do. Not, it's not because of you, it's because of him. And when he makes up his mind to something like that, just be excited and be ready. And start practicing it and making it a way of life practice on yourself and maybe whoever is close to you and that the anointing of God start flowing through you because the time is getting short and you want to be ready. Amen. 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 So um Start reading the word, especially on healing scriptures and the, and the ability that he, we, he is getting ready to give us to accomplish his purposes. He's going to do a lot of these things so that people who don't believe are going to see these things and they're going to be like, whoa. You know, there's some new... Uh, new uh, sitcom getting ready to come on oh, yeah. about God. <laughs> what did you say the name of it? God friend is me. God friend is me. Yeah. So the, the world is even starting to, <laughs> to get ready. They're making sitcoms about it now about the Lord and be with people healing. So uh, all these things are prepar- preparatory for 
what he's about to bring in the pass. So start putting on these things that we're talking about and know that it's, it's very close. And the more you prepare yourself and get ready for it, the more you're gonna, he's gonna release to you and he's gonna start giving you understanding. And as we go along, you know, you can ask questions. And as the Lord shows me it, or shows you directly, however, <clears throat> he's gonna, we're gonna start increasing so get excited, because the time is at hand. And, uh, amen. Praise God. So, with that, I think I'll give this a rest for the night, because there's a lot more we're going to get into. We would like to send you a tape of this entire message. For any donation of $5 or more, we will send you a CD. For any donations of $12 or more, we will send you a DVD. Please write to us at Rejoice in Jesus Ministries, P.O. Box 47775, Los Angeles, California, 90047, or call 323-REJOICE. Please mention tape offer number TITW1367. That is tape offer number TITW1367. Hi. You know the Bible says that all things are upheld by the power of this word? That means when you put the word in your heart, it will produce life and health to all your flesh. It will also produce faith so that whatever you come up against, you can overcome it. But remember, you won't have the victory you desire unless you make a decision to not allow anything to get in the way of your intimacy with Jesus, nor allow anything to distract you from your time in Thank you for watching Time in the Word. If you are blessed by today's message, we'd love to hear from you. You can write us at P.O. Box 47775, Los Angeles, California, 90047. Or call us at 323-735-6923. That's 323-REJOICE. And if you're in the Los Angeles area, visit our worship service on Saturday nights at 7.30 p.m., 1304 Cochran Avenue, corner of Cochran and Packard Street. And again, thank you for watching Time in the Word.